Welcome to the City of Davis Swim Lessons program. Use this video as a resource to help you and your family have the best experience possible during our swim lessons. Before getting into the pool, create a routine to make sure everyone knows when it's safe to get in. You can do things like laying out your towels, putting on sunscreen, putting on your goggles, and waiting on the edge of the pool for a parent or teacher to tell you that it's safe to get in. In order to get into the pool safely, there's a couple of things that you should remember. The first thing to do is have both you and your child on the edge of the pool at the same time. Both of you can go ahead and take a seat and then the parent should slide in with one hand in between yourself and your student and the other hand reaching across to make sure that you maintain eye contact and be looking at your child at all times. Then your child can slide over onto their tummy and slide in feet first. Make sure that they stay holding onto the wall because you don't want them to let go. There are three types of positions when holding your child. The first are face-to-face -face positions. Um, the first one we'll go over is the hug position. That is for water adjustment and specifically for practicing kicking on the front. Position yourself so the water comes up to your shoulders and the participant's upper chest. Rest their head on your shoulder and place arms loosely around your neck or over your shoulders. While supporting the participant's legs from underneath, have them extend their legs. You can manipulate their kicks this way. The next is a chin support position. These are for kicking on the front and for bubbles. Position yourself so the water comes up to your shoulders and the participant's chin. Hold under the upper chest and shoulders with your fingers and palms. Participant's chin should rest on the heel of your palm so that the chin does not submerge. The last face-to-face -face position is the hip support on the front. And these are for water adjustments, kicking, your front glides, front floats, and blowing bubbles. Position yourself so water comes up to your shoulders and the participant's chest. Support them in a horizontal position at their hips or at their lower abdomen from below. Their arms should be nearly fully extended and resting on top of your arms. The next positions we'll go over are back and chest positions. The first is called the cuddle position. And this is for back floats, back glides, kicking on the back and rolling over. Position yourself so the water comes up to your neck and the participant's ears. The back of their head rests on your shoulder with their cheek right next to your cheek. Place one hand on their lower back and the other across their chest. The next is a hip support on the back position. And this is to practice back floats, back glides, kicking on the back. Position yourself so the water comes up to your neck and the participant's ears. The back of their head rests on your shoulder with their cheek next to your cheek. Hold them with both hands on the back to bring the body horizontal. Placing your hand on the lower back provides the most support, while placing your hands on the upper back provides the least support. The next back to chest position is the back support. And this is for when participants are comfortable on their back, but still need a little bit of support. Position yourself behind the participant so that your shoulders and the participant's ears are in the water. Support the base of the participant's head near the neck with one hand. Place the other hand in the middle of the participant's back and lift and stabilize him or her in a horizontal position. Tilt the participant's head back. Extend your arms to hold the participant perpendicular to and away from your body, smoothly moving backwards to help the participant float to a horizontal position. The last back to chest position is the arm stroke position. And this is to help young participants explore arm movements in the water. Brace your back against the side of the pool. Sit on the steps or kneel on one knee in the shallow water. The water should be up to your shoulders and the participant's upper chest and or armpits. Sit the participant on your knee facing away from you. Use one of your arms to circle the participant's chest and keep him upright. With your other hand, hold the participant's wrists from underneath and place your hand on top of the participant's hand. Move the participant's hand in a paddling motion and encourage the participant to imitate the movement with his other arm. If necessary, switch the arm you are using to support the participant and move the participant's other arm in a paddling motion. The last holding and support techniques are side to side positions. The first is a hip straddle position. These are for water adjustment, blowing bubbles, and water exit and entry. Have the participant face you and straddle your hip. 
Support the participant by reaching around his or her back and placing your hand on the participant's upper thigh. Position yourself so the water level is appropriate for the participant. The last holding and support technique we will go over is the shoulder support on the side position. Position yourself comfortably so the water line is between your waist and your shoulders and the participant's chin or neck. With you and the participant facing the same direction, hold the participant to your side by wrapping your hands around the participant's torso at about the armpits. Keep the participant's head up. You can gently rest your arm or elbow against the participant's buttocks and legs to keep them underwater. Have the participant brace both elbows on the side of the pool. Pull their stomach out of the water and use their knees to pull themselves all the way out. 